We've had the warmest start to winter on record, but that all changed early this morning. It was an icy start to the day, the coldest in a year, with some parts of the state dipping below freezing. While many of us tried our best to keep warm, others weren't phased by the cold. The coldest morning so far for 2015. But many weren't feeling the chill. Cold weather's good because once you come off the cold sand, your body's chilled down, you hit the water, it's about 18 or 19 degrees, and it's beautiful. The warmer water's an incentive for lifesaver Michael Leith. It's hard getting up out of bed in the morning, but being in the, the water on such a beautiful day, it's not so bad. An icy clean-up for some, water froze on Karen Wellman's windscreen in Rivervale. Good reason to give the car a once-over. Washing the cars, I'll bring some, um, boil some water and put that in the, the buckets first to, to keep warm. Perth dropped to 2.3 degrees at 6.46am. It was even cooler at the airport, recording 1.8. Jandicott, the coldest metro suburb, at 0.4. But it was the warmest on Rottnest Island, a balmy 9.2. It's the coldest day in Perth uh, for exactly one year since the 2.1 we had on the 23rd of June last year. Other parts of the state were below freezing. The Wheatbelt town of Wandering, the coldest, minus 1.7. Gingin Airport, minus 0.6. Dwelling Up dipped to minus 0.4 and slightly warmer for Bustleton. Those cold temperatures hit us just before the sun rose this morning between 6 and 7 o'clock. There was no cloud and minimal wind to whip around the air, which gave us that extra cold punch. Well, we had a good cold front come across over the weekend, over Sunday, and we had a lot of rain out of that. But behind that cold front, there was a lot of cold air came up. The coldest day Perth has ever had is minus 0.7 in June 2006, a record unlikely to be broken in the near future. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.